What's up, guys? My name is Section from the Deviants, and today we're going to be reacting to Red vs. Blue Season 16, Episodes 1, 2, and 3. So last time came the end of Season 15, obviously. And with that end came the end to Vic, the end to the Church Era, the end of the Blues and Reds with Temple and all of them going to jail. And then, yeah, Donut also got zapped by the the time machine type bomb that loco created so i believe that was it i don't know if we're gonna get any more of the reporter i feel as though that was more of a story device in season 15 but we may get her but i'm not counting on it so without further ado let's get straight on into it make sure to support the original content as always and let's get going in three two one and wow don't say it oh Hark. don't thee ever wonder wherefore we be hither ah one of life's most we got swagger souls mysteries. wherefore aren't we hither aren't we the product of some cosmic coincidence well perhaps the lord god doth watch over everything after all i know it's not good sir but it doth keep me up at night doth what i meant wherefore art we out here betwixt it in this canyon what was to all yon stuff is about god what <laughs> no, it, no, it was it was not it was not it was not nothing doth the Wanteth to speak of it? Nay. Art thee sure? Oh, yea. Lose yay. not thy faith, my fasty cousin. The Lord God doth gaze upon all of us from his high seat on the throne of heaven. He hath a purpose for each one of us. I assure you, we are to uh, all part of his holy plan. Uh, Apex? There is an unwritten rule in our universe. Where the greatest changes hinge on the humblest of actions. A trick, an act of friendship, a slice of pepperoni pizza. Suddenly, all is lost. The end is nigh. The fates told us that the beginning of our okay. end was an ending of its own. But their prophecy came too late. Not before the reds and blues had vanquished their foe. Not before their foe had activated the temporal vortex. Most critically, not before the device fulfilled its true purpose. We watched in horror, my lord, unable to prevent the calamity that followed. I get a horse. With you, I'm worried that's not a figure of speech. That's a figure of speech? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Whatever. Are we done here? Because I've got some volleyballs to spike in this fucking volcano. Was that an attempt at a metaphor? Yo, are we serious no. about grub? My stomach is rumbling. With all the fighting and shooting, I think we skipped a meal or three. There ain't no good reason to go out for chow, but we still got MREs to spare. I've got an emergency supply stuffed in Lopez for this very situation. You seriously keep food in Lopez? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, why not? Right up his keister. Way deep in there, next to his radioisotope nuclear generator. They always stay nice and toasty. Mm -mm. And radioactive. Oh, that's gross. Just wait till you see where the condiments come out. Look, guys, we could get leukemia from eating out of Lopez's butt literally any time. Fingertips. But right now, we're on Earth, calling it a capital of the civilized galaxy. Let's go out. Shouldn't we stick around? deal with the cops maybe best to let us handle that the unse still thinks you're all terrorists i suggest lay low until the truth so, comes to life. good idea great so food maybe italian how about a blood sausage some, some blood shawarma pudding? or the blood of my adversaries you know just to mix things up chilies is always tight there's a chilies on chorus now we can get that anytime oh, how about hope depot they have the best cotton candy and now we know where all the wall insulation went. Steaks! <laughs> How about a big old ribeye? Maybe something with a vegetarian option? You don't get a vote. You lost it when you betrayed us. Purple Judas. Hooters? Lifetime I mean... ban. Donut. Simmons, Purple I like the way Judas. you think, but let's save that for dessert. No, where's Donut? Shouldn't you be down here yelling about fondue? Damn it. Caboose, we know you'll eat anything. Why don't you just go find Donut? We'll make a plan. Okay, I'll find him. 
Oh, how about sushi? No way, Jose! Red team only eats winter food. No chow from any country that ever lost a world war. No oh German, my gosh. No Japanese. And no French Canadian. Has anyone seen my penny? Caboose! Focus! What did we tell you to do? Start a fixed interest savings account. No! <laughs> Fine donut! Okay. How about poke? Gross, no fish. I want something that's gonna give me a heart attack. How do y'all feel about turducken? Turducken? What is that? Hey, Donut. Hey, um, you know, we're gonna eat some food. Do you, uh, eat food? <laughs> ah, yeah, me too. Tell me, how do you feel about Greek? <laughs> yeah, me neither. What about fish and chips? <laughs> Yeah, I am always confused about that too. Why say chips when you mean Frida fries? Looks like a, a glitch. Yeah, okay. See you soon. That's it. I'm putting my foot down. Well, let's just. Trust I remember that video from Cordo. Was it Cordo or Digital about the the Sorry. virus? I can live with pizza. Like Doc, the Italians switched sides at the last minute in all three world wars, but no calzones. I'm leaving the calzone in the friend zone. Great. So there's 12 of us? No, we're good. We all eat on the way here. There's an in and out in the Delta Ari system now. And oh. we really need to get back home. There are some very interesting things happening on Chorus these days. Can't wait to change the subject. I mean, what, can't actually, wait to Actually, what, what's that it, interesting? But later, not now. If you guys are heading back to Chorus, I'd love to hitch a ride. I'd like to make sure Wash is on the mend. Not that you need my permission, but you all have earned some R&R. &R. Enjoy your pizza. And grab a to-go slice for Washington. One slice? I'm bringing that dude back a deep dish and garlic knots. I'm in. It sounds fun. Ooh. And maybe we can get into some crazy shit along the way. No adventures. We are not getting involved in any more stupid bullshit. Okay. I've invented a new science to make sure of it. A new science? You can't tell, but I'm winking pretty hard right now. Caboose, some you were supposed to bring back Donut. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, Donut's gone. He left. He left the island? Ah, uh, yes, definitely no. I'm confused. Where so did he was go? Caboose. You know, I would be he too. He didn't say. It was a little rude. Good enough for me. Let's boogie. And leave Donut behind? Yeah, sounds like he left us. Maybe we should look around, just to be sure. All right. Ain't no party like a search party. Oh, no. Doc would be no so looking upset. Around, no more standing around talking. No more like, nothing. Oh, he'll look around for Donut. But when I was gone, he forgot. Guantanamo where the food is terrible. Someone's hangry. That's Griff's secret. He's always hangry. You're goddamn right I'm hangry. I don't understand why everything the has Hulk. to be such a great big goddamn production with you people. We're going out for pizza, not some epic quest. We're going on a pizza quest. <sighs> Do not call it that. It is not a pizza quest. We're going to Sammy Raffaello's for a large pepperoni. End of story. Oh, the gods. Muggins, can you freaking believe it? Shadow Huggins, watch closely and. Um, okay. Do not let the mortals leave you. We got a side. fairy? Oh, yeah. Solo mission for the rookie. I can handle it, Chief. Coach, well, kill me, Terran. I will return as soon as I can. Do not let them see you. I'm an invisible fly. On oh, an they're definitely going to see you. She's going to like run into them or something. Okay. You know what vibes this gives me? Um, that one episode in the Clone Wars. They're running in the hole, Mug Bug. Where Obi Wan and Anakin like end up in this place with the the light sister, the dark brother, 
and then the, the father. I bear grave tidings from the human homeworld. The final prophecy is unfolding. The pizza quest is begun. There's the... There is a prophecy about Pizza Quest. Let's just go just once. Let's just not and say we did. Nice try, Griff. You ain't trouble shuffling your way out of this one. Guys, I already know what you're gonna say, so there's no reason to say it. Why don't we skip the part where you all make fun of me for crashing the pelican and move on? <laughs> I'm sure that each and every one of your insults was clever left and funny and witty and smart. Griff so let's to drive just mark them all as red, okay? You got me. I'm God. Griff. Regulations clearly state that any pilot who crashes a spaceship because he got too excited about stuffed crust is subject to at least an hour of roasting for Survivor! That's going to take forever. Can't we just go once around the horn? Oh, how in Sam Hallow am I supposed to cram 350 pounds of pure failure into a single insult? That counts, sis. You should really stick with what you're good at, big bro. Not calling mom and sucking the cheese out of mozzarella sticks. Maybe next time you'll... Primary cast only. Next time we need a pilot, oh, I'm gonna insist on someone smarter. Like Caboose or your guy Fieri bobblehead. Ah, uh, your mama is so fat. You got a Finish punchline it. for that joke, Caboose? Ah, uh, joke. Crap landing, doofus. Thanks for being quick. So, Simmons, any idea where we are? According to my mini-map, the semi raffleless place is close. It's just through these slightly ominous woods. Oh, that's not good. How about these Into the woods. woods? Could we get there that way? Hmm, it's a little longer, but yeah. Better safe than sorry. Hmm. What are we, what are we getting into? Is Peter Pan now? Ah, badger break! Just go in your suit, Caboose. We have waste disposal systems for a reason. I, um... Can anyone tell me why we had the knights in the beginning in the first place? Us taking the long way around these woods wouldn't have anything to do with your new science now, would it? I don't know what you're talking about, Simmons. Are you winking right now? If I let you in on this, you've got to promise to keep it on the down low. The less people know about this, the better. Hand to God. I came up with a new system, and now that it's in effect, we are never going to have to do anything ever again. Your new science is laziness? What's new is the how. See, when I was alone on Iris, and definitely not losing my mind out of boredom, I found this book that Jack's left behind. It was all about story structure. Like for movies? Yeah, and TV, and whatever. See, the book talks about these things at the beginning of stories. They're called incendiary incidents. They're these things that make stories happen. I thought, shit, if we can avoid incendiary incidents, Incidents in real life, then we never have to do anything ever again. Okay. How does that work in the real world? So earlier, very when Jensen said very interesting things were happening on Chorus, that could mean some crazy shit with temples, or some real trouble with the UNSC, or who knows what, but it's definitely incendiary, so I definitely changed the subject before we could find out more. I see. And when we were in the Pelican, Locust sent us an encrypted message about something important. But I crashed the ship into the ground before anyone even noticed. It means we've got to walk the rest of the way. But a little work now saves a ton of work later. Pepperoni time. W what was Locust's message? I didn't read it, so we'll never know. So your new science is preemptive laziness. Yep. That is so stupid, Griff. And negligence? I'm so proud of you. I found a lake! That's uh, well, that's food. definitely going to come and Guys, bite them no at butt. Detours. See, this is what I'm talking about, Simmons. You just got to keep these cats wrangled. Blowing lake. I've got to see this. Oh, gosh. Fuck. What's down there? A car? It's, it's the, the lake swamp, of the older guys. brother. There's nothing to see here. Let's move along. It's rising. Okay. Is that, is that trash? What the hell are you doing? I am swelling with joy. I have missed you all so, so much. This does. You've been gone for like two hours. Oh, that's right. For you, barely any time has passed at all. But for me, infinity, eternity, like 
way longer. Donut, how many times have I warned you about going AWOL and mysteriously showing up in foreign bodies of water? And how exactly did you get here before us? And how did you know we were coming this way? Ah, uh, tis a story longer than time. Fuck that! Story time can wait until after we stuff our faces. No, we have no time to lose. We're all in grave danger. We must Gosh, escape. the one thing he they couldn't control the is the uh, incident. What? You heard me right, friends. Our day has come. We have been chosen to defend the universe as time travel warriors. Ah, I know what this is. He's trying to prank us. And not. Come on, guys. He's obviously fucking with us. It's just retribution for the time we told him Extreme Home Makeovers was going to fix up Red Bank. This is not related to that substantial betrayal of trust. Oh, quit gagging on us, Donut. You got my hopes up there for a second. Thank you, Red Team. This was real productive. Guys, it's true. You need to listen to me. See that shit, Simmons? Diffuse the story bomb like a boss. No call to adventure, no adventure. So, just curious, in Jax's book, what happens after the call to adventure? Uh, I don't know. I stopped reading after the important bit. What if refusing the adventure is part of the adventure? Don't be dumb, Simmons. Roll credits. We're done. <laughs> Oh. So, burgers? This looks like a battlefield. What the heck happened here? <clears throat> Excuse me, officer. Uh, I'm a cop. Mm, I figures. That's why I'm wearing space armor. Uh-huh, got it. You Wait. might think it's weird that a cop in a small town would be wearing space armor, but lots of things are weird. Some birds have thumbs, did you know that? I did not. Uh, nope. I have to wear space armor because it's regulation. It's also cozy. You don't need to tell me. I get it. So what happened here, officer? No one knows, armored stranger. Tornado. Earthquake. Ball lightning. Some freak thing. They're calling it a act of God. No. There is no God. Anywho, gotta go. Got cop stuff. You get that, right, red guy? Yeah. Well, red's not really. Police outfit more right of a fireman blue. hey put that together well, it's like a like a siren right you guys aren't cops are you if you were cops i'd know you were cops i know every cop in this quadrant all right bye how about chinese we never talked about chinese simmons if i asked you to shoot me would you do it guys i'm telling you the truth no when are you gonna start listening to me i traveled in time to be here with you did you know Donut? I hate to be a bubble burster, but all those years ago after we thought we traveled in time, I actually looked into it. Every single scientific theory says the same thing. Time travel is just oh, plain impossible. Oh, time traveling. Let me tell you, you something like about that. So, who's hungry? Did well, we then. really just... Only a few days. That eh, barely a skip. That smell! I, I can't believe it! We're back! Caboose never told you the full story of what happened on that island. He just said you were gone. Gone indeed. When Logo's time machine struck me, I became unstuck in time. Like a needle that skipped off a Lisa Loeb record. That skipping sucked me into the past. My body was ruined, destroyed, but my mind stayed alive. Okay. I was sucked deep, backwards, further into the past. Hundreds of years, then thousands, then millions, and billions. He's not made like a, a sexual joke this I whole time. Him. That's him with a capital H. Hitler! No! God! You're saying that God, the God, saved you and put you back together? Yes! Because God needs our help! That's an ego boost. It's God's will that we become his holy soldiers to fight back against the devil king who wants to destroy our universe. What's God look like? Say John Wayne. God gave me these to give unto you, no. my brothers. And he told Morgan me Freeman. that to save the future, we must fix the past. <sighs> Fuck all of this. With these time travel portal guns, we can go anywhere, anytime. Sidebar, how do we know for sure this is Donut? He's not talking like Donut. These That's what donut I'm saying. Are tight. They can there only we go. Two grown men at once. Withdrawn. Come, friends. <laughs> Let us journey together deeper to the Withdrawn. Path. The only place safe from... Uh... Oh, no. Lightning. What's going on? Get there, pizza before look. this happens. That way you guys don't have to pay for it. T tornado? Red team, at the ready! What are you gonna do? Shoot the weather with bullets? 
Yeah. That... <laughs> For once, the trickster spoke truth. The humans are right on time. Ah, fuck! Look, we don't want any trouble, scary alien lady! I am Kali Rama the Undying. Goddess of death, war and annihilation. Daughter of time. Queen of the cosmic powers and mother to the fates. Bow before me, so that I may sever your heads from your necks. Lady! I think I speak for everyone when I say... Reminds you of a um, back away, devil woman. Reminds you of a hello. Oh god, not the pizza <laughs> Rio. You should have got it beforehand. I was just going right through her. The insects want a fight. Ooh, okay. Dirty Shizno! Grab a gun! Get into the portal! Hurry! Come oh, Shizno. Saving the future means fixing the past! This way, babe. Gross. Don't call me babe. Oh, you're big. Uh, look out! Oh, how far are you guys in the past? We need to determine our whereabouts. Stat. Not whereabouts, sorry. Desert. Whenabouts. Oh. This is a very interesting storyline. Oh, okay, now they're her? all different. This reminds me of um, Blood Gulch when they're trying to find uh, Wyoming and they go through the portal. They all end up in different locations. All I know is that if I don't figure out how this stupid machine works, we're gonna freeze out here. Let me take a look. I'm pretty good with technology, better than I am with anatomy. Back the hell off. I'm detecting some hostility from you. You are right. At me? I'm mad at everything. The world, the universe. I'm mad we got roped into some new bullshit. And yeah, I'm mad I got lost in time with this purple Brutus of an asshole, the least useful teammate ever, or Come, should I say former teammate, since you cozied up with our enemies. Yeah, it's okay you hate me. Griff, if I'm being transparent, I kind of hate me right now, too. Oh, God, Doc, please spare me. Yeah, I should have figured out the Blues and Reds were bad guys sooner. Because I didn't. I'm responsible for all the, the violence and the heartbreak, the death, for Wash being hurt, and for Loco. I let down my friends on all sides, and uh, I'm torn to bits. And Griff about is it. nowhere to be seen. He left. Hey, you did it! You figured it out! No, I just found the shuffle button. Seriously, are you sure? I know that symbol. It's a shuffle button. Who the hell builds a time machine with a shuffle button? Apparently, God. I don't buy that. I'm atheist. That's dumb. I'm militant agnostic. I don't know what's out there, and neither do you. So it looks like we're in Valhalla, and I guess it's oh. maybe after we were living here. I don't see the crashed pelican, so we don't have to worry about running into ourselves at least. It must be before. Some developers bought the land, and now Valhalla is all condos. All right then, so we're in the past. Now what? We try to Sherlock Donut's last message? Go and fix the past? Just to end up seeing Good, text crash the is it really a rush? I mean, we have a time machine, so we can do Donut's thing whenever. Maybe you and I can have some fun first. Oh, fun, huh? Hmm, you want to get down? Definitely. Shit's gotten a little too real at work lately. I need a few weeks of dumb sex to get my head on straight. Say no more. You thinking what I'm thinking, Tucker? Depends. How far backwards can you bend? Sean Connery's first for me, and then that Daenerys Targaryen chick, and, uh, King Tut? You want to use the time machine for autographs? What? No, dummy. I want to use it to bang dead celebrities while they're still young and sexy. Or when they're old and sexy. Or both. Man, I'm going to have a okay with George is... Clooney. Oh. What did you think I meant? That I wanted meaningless sex with you? Well, yeah. Oh, no. Well, I mean, I mean it's not exactly Poor a stretch Tucker. of the imagination. There's precedent. It wouldn't be the first time. Uh, yeah, it would. What about back at Blood Gulch? Back at Blood Gulch what? We hooked up. No, we didn't. Come on, after the fight with Wyoming and Tex, the cave? Oh, the cave. You count that? Yeah, I freaking count that. We did a sex. I'm pretty sure we almost did a sex. But something happened and it stopped. I don't know. It wasn't very memorable. But, 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 
Oh, did I just hurt your feeling? No. Where are you going? Dang. I'm going for a jog. A hey, Tucker has in. improved a All lot. Right, whatever. How Poor does guy. This fucking thing work? Watch your language, Simmons. Sorry, sir. I just can't figure this thing out. I mean, there's no room for technology in this device. I mean, there's no power source, no control board, no anything. I mean, it's basically like magic. The team's got a magic gun. Hurrah! Oh, we live in a world of science, Sarge. There's no such thing as magic. Doesn't this scare you? Scared, smeared, Simmons. This is a person who always... Donut told us to fix our past. And I know where to start. I forgot where I was going with that. Broken Ridge. Oh. You sure you want to reopen old wounds like that? I mean, it can't be healthy to relive such a traumatic experience. That's why we're not going to relive it, Sims. We're going to repair it. Just like Donut's incredibly clear riddle commanded. I think, actually, I insist that before we use this time machine gun, we need to take it to a laboratory so they can disassemble it and we can see how it works. Absolutely not, Simmons. What if you can't put it back together? Like when you try to True. cheat with a Rubik's Cube. There's just pieces everywhere. I told you we should have just taken the stickers off. Sir, with everything that's happened, I mean, Donut dying and coming back, God, aliens, time travel, none of it makes any sense. Now, no. here, at least we have something in front of us we can get some answers from. We have a thing to study. Study shmuddy, you funny duddy. But nothing about this situation makes any sense. Then Schmidt Simmons. That's incredibly talented, but you can't rhyme your way out of everything. It's everything. It's, it's dangerous to use this Lankers. without knowing what we're doing. Fortune favors the bold, Simmons. You think Tommy Edison invented electricity by sitting around thinking about it? Heck Tommy. no. He blew a kite in a goddamn lightning storm. Well, Simmons, you're holding a kite in them there hands. Do you want to take it apart or see how that baby flies? Interesting. So you're saying we should study it by using it? What yes. part of study smutty fuddy duddy was unclear? Simmons Science Log, Entry 1. Stardate, the past. Chrononaut Dick Simmons has devised a controlled experiment to further the human understanding of time travel. Subject Red has decided to use the time machine to return to the Battle of Broken Ridge in order to, quote, set right the course of history, unquote. We have thus traveled into the past. One small step for Simmons, one giant... Simmons, who are you talking to? Uh, no one. I it's was happy while standing up. And I was talking in my sleep. Well, quit your griffin and get over here. Simmons, log out. <laughs> Look, Simmons, it's just how I remember it. The enemy was dug in at the top of this here hillside. We've been crazy. down for days. Then one day, moments ago, a sniper took him out. And I finally got my chance. Look on down there, Simmons. You can see it happening. Lieutenant Sarge. Sergeant Lieutenant is down, sir. You're a commanding officer now. What do we do? Well, friend, there's only one thing to do. You must charge the enemy. I'll cover for you here. You flank up the left side of this hill. Sir, yes, sir. I love you, sir. Let me get a hoorah. 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 Look at go, Simmons. They're... We just did it. They're going the Simplify. wrong way. Simplify. I told them the left side of the hill. Well, Sarge, I mean, really, it is just a matter of perspective. Don't you go True. starting up with that new age Chomsky crap now, Simmons. No wonder they were massacred. I can't let this happen. We lost Rick. It's okay. We're halfway. Everybody get set. We'll go after What do you idiots think you're doing? Sarge, how did you get here? I'm the ghost of Christmas future. Now listen up. <laughs> I order you idiots to double back to the bottom and charge up the other side. What in Sam hell have you been doing down here? I told you to charge up the left side of that hill. So charge up the left side of that hill. I said no such thing. Now get back down there and follow me. I mean, orders. to be fair, that is Sarge's left. The is down. He's not breathing. You tell that lazy idiot to wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, no face. Carb no gone. Big, big, like if you can still think. No tango, bada bada, scaboos. That's right, you found no bed. You banged your head, your head fell off, and took it all off. I made you goo and a leaf and spit and glue and put your head back on your body. And do you feel better? No, me siento todo That's mejor. That's good, you feel all better. I need, I need, I need your help, Lopez. We need to work together to figure out Donut's riddle. I only remember pieces. Salvar el futuro significa arreglar el pasado. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was in English. Something about saving futures. <laughs> and then a bit about fixing the sure saving right. English. No importa lo que diga, solo vas a continuar. Savings for the future. Savings for the future beats. Um, God, we need Lopez. Like saving for the future beats. Fixed interest rates. That's it, you did it, Lopez! Fixed we need to start rates. savings accounts. Come on, Lopez! <laughs> Not the savings Wait. account. Where is it? Lopez, I have been robbed. Oh, my lucky penny! My lucky penny, Lopez, I cannot lose that! I love that penny. I remember when I found it just like it was like it was yesterday. Oh look! A penny. Lopez, we can't start savings accounts if we don't have any money. 
We're gonna need to use this teleporter maker to retrace our steps. Dios mio, esta va a ser contraproducente. Yes, yes, it is gonna backfire. Let's go! Esperalo. Hey, look! It's everybody! Oh, okay, so that's... Did anyone see my penny? Caboose! Focus! What did we tell you to do? Start a fixed interest savings account! <laughs> no! Okay, so that, that's why. Okay! Nah, I haven't seen it, Lopez, but I keep talking! In defenso, mire el fin del mundo. Okay, okay. That's the end of it. What I'm looking forward to is if they're going to make any callbacks. Is anything that they're going to do in this season like affect what happened in previous seasons? Kind of what Church did when he asked um, um, Gary to send him back in time and Church was kind of like the person to cause everything that happened in Blood Gulch. I wonder if they're going to be doing that exact same thing, but with this season. So like I said before, this also gives me the vibe of um, back when they were trying to find Wyoming and they went to the tele they went through the teleporter and they all ended up in different locations with another person. I wonder what like what happens in the past that puts them on this path where like the the devil girl is in power. I I actually don't know what's what the heck's going on. Like obviously Donut says that they need to fix something in the past to save the future, but first off, Donut has to explain what exactly is going to happen in the future. Because they never really explain it. I mean, they say like, oh yeah, there's this there's this devil girl and stuff. But what exactly is what exactly is the devil girl thing doing in this timeline? that she won't be doing in the other timeline if we fix something. Like I feel as though no matter what they do, there's still going to be a devil girl who wants to destroy everything. So I guess I'm just wondering like what in the past is going to restrict her from being the main bad person. Also, who's that Tinkerbell looking girl? She reminds me of the, the fairy from Legend of Zelda, which I don't really know if that is a good or bad thing. All I know is if she starts off with, hey, listen, might just shut off the whole reaction. But anyways, that was my reaction to Red vs. Blue Season 16, Episodes 1, 2, and 3. If you like my reaction, make sure to like and subscribe. If you guys want me to know anything more, put it in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.